Hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our daily current affair videos. I hope all of your preparation is going well. All right. So today's date, today's date is very historic, right? Today, Jallianwala uh, Bagh massacre को 103 साल हो गए हैं. 103 years ago on 13th April, on 13th April uh, year 1919, right? There was an incident where uh, General Dyer he broke fire he ordered uh, his troops to break fire uh, on a gathering of people right many many people lost their lives right so this day this day is actually a symbol of foreign of uh, colonial brutality right the brutality and you know uh, the ruthlessness of colonial past uh, of our nation all right so do remember this day right do learn more about this day do spread awareness about this day all right the the colonial past the rulers they owe an apology to our nation and this is what the day is symbolic for all right so moving on to our today's current affairs videos uh, before i start you all must watch our latest video right our latest video by uh, anuj sir he has posted about a very uh, helpful video you know that will push your preparation in the right direction why because only 45 days are left for rbi grade b exam and this is the time where you can make it or break it right so if you want that extra push if you want that extra motivation if you even want to know whether you are going in the right direction or not do watch out that video you know do a self assessment right just if you are you know facing any trouble especially to sol regarding solving or, or your mock test series right if you are getting low scores in mocks you can get in touch with our team all right and they will help you out they will guide you they will mentor you all right so you also have a, a crash course on rbi grade b exam you can uh, check out uh, the details of this crash course on our website or in the link given in the description below and to access the pdf of our daily current affairs videos you can join our telegram channel the link of which is also given in the description box all right you will get the daily updates of uh, you will get updates of daily current affairs and not only that many other important documents will be shared in the telegram channel as well as the news all right and of course our preparation app uh, our preparation app will equip you with every single thing that you need that you may need for the preparation all right so do download this app right be smart study smart all right so this was it moving on to today's current affairs which of the first question uh, asks you which of the following has witnessed the maximum amount of soil erosion during 1990 and 2018 according to ministry of earth sciences data all right ministry of earth science ne data nikala hai soil erosion ka right ranging from 1990 to 2018 all right two important organizations hai nccr and incios right in partnership with esso right both of these organizations come under the ambit of ministry of earth sciences right the minister of state for ministry of earth sciences is dr jitender singh we have talked we have talked about him in one of our previous videos right you should go back and check it out all right who is the union minister of earth sciences do write it down in the comments below it's actually very easy it's apparent you all should be knowing it all right now answer the correct uh, option mark the correct answer first which of the following has witnessed maximum amount of soil erosion okay so if you are a little aware about the coastal geography of our nation you should know that west there is a key difference between western coast and eastern coast all right western coast is more more rocky right it is uh, more elevated whereas the eastern coast it is more submerged into the sea right so of course jo bhi hamara correct answer hoga you should be able to eliminate it all right uh, gujarat no goa will not be an option right east coast uh, east coast is more uh, you know into the uh, sea right bay of bengal mein zyada uh, erosion sabse zyada erosion east coast pe naturally hi hota hai okay so the correct answer here is west bengal 
the maximum erosion faced uh, by uh, in in this time gap is west bengal west bengal mein erosion why is it important why is it also a threat right sea level rise also impacts the coastal lines of the uh, state all right and of course all the island nations and all the coastal communities right also west bengal is home to the world's largest mangrove reservoir that is the sundarbans all right so agar uh, wahan pe coastal erosion increase hota hai then mangrove forest will also start depleting okay so ministry of earth sciences has also informed lok sabha that this is actually the indian the length of indian coastline right and uh, out of uh, 6907 uh, km long coastline 34% is under the wa- under varying degrees of erosion all right 26% of coastline is of an accreting erosion soil erosion means uh, weathering of soil right the loosening up of a structure is known as soil erosion all right but when the structure is made right jab sedimentation and deposition hota hai soil ka and when it adds on to the structure it is known as accretion all right so 26% coastline mein accretion bhi hua hai because the waves come they take away soil but then they also deposit they leave back deposit so 26% coastline is accreting in nature all right which is the complete opposite of erosion okay and remaining 40% remains in a stable state right which is still better we still have time we still have scope to stabilize the situation right coasts ke major threat coastal erosion ka major reason and major threat kya hai sabse pehla rising sea level right so you can figure it out it is climate change all right another is also illegal mining right illegal coastal mining right illegal construction illegal coastal construction is also very important in sari activities ko monitor karne ke liye hamari country ki jo coastlines hain jo straits hain coastal regulation zones mein bate hue hain right coastal uh, regulation rules are also uh, you know uh, ek uh, policy hai ek uh, rule, set of rules hai by the ministry of environment forest and climate change that regulates construction activities and all the human activities in coasts right so these are some uh, key facts and provisions you should know about so of course you can uh, have a look at this table right you can have a look at this data sabse zyada coastal erosion in this time gap has been faced by west bengal right percentage of erosion is 60.5% and then of course followed by puducherry kerala kerala sabse kam erosion has been faced by goa all right so this is the news nccr nccr also comes under the ministry of earth sciences right and this is also in partner with ESSO both come under ministry of earth sciences and they have also published coastal vulnerability index right for the entire coastline of india at a scale of 1 to 1 lakh all right now some key facts some key facts nccr ke director general mr m v ramana murthy right dr m v Ramana Murthy is the director general of NCCR all right so this is some important fact that you should know all right so earth system and science organization this is what i was looking for earth system and science organization hai uh, इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से जुड़ा हुआ है और राइट एंड द डायरेक्टर ऑफ दिस आई एन सी ओ आई एस इज डॉक्टर टी श्रीनिवास कुमार डॉक्टर ट्री टी श्रीनिवास कुमार ओके 
So moving on to the next question we have what is the name of the portal launched by Union Minister of Tourism Union Minister of Tourism ne ek portal launch ki hai that shows all the events festival and live darshans across India all right isi tarah ek similar portal Ministry of Culture ne Navratri ke din launch kiya tha on the very first day of Navratri Ministry of Culture launched a portal known as Temple 360 right temple 360 we this also discussed this in our current affairs right in one of our videos right temple 360 it concerns itself with what it concerns itself with uh, issues like uh, basically e aarti e darshan right and e prasad right these will be the provisions from the of, of temple 360 portals right aur isme kitne 12 jyotirling all the 12 jyotirling will be uh, the live darshan from 12 jyotirling and char dham will be uh, telecasted on this portal right usi se milta julta union minister of tourism ka ek portal hai right events festival and live darshan to promote the regions of the country as popular tourist destination right you have to write down the uh, name of the portal okay so the correct answer here is utsav portal utsav portal has been launched by un, uh, union minister for tourism shri j g krishan reddy right a conference hua tha amrit sangam conference jisme ye portal launch kiya gaya okay it is a digital initiative we have already discussed these points How much prize will the winners of Jigyasa, a quest for knowledge quiz competition, can get? Right. Uh, so Jigyasa, a quiz competition, is right. That quiz competition is all about Indian art, Indian culture, Indian civilization, everything. The holistic knowledge that is related to India, its history, art, culture, civilization, all the knowledge that we have. to test people on that knowledge a jigyasa quiz initiative has been launched by a particular ministry right to so, ek statement mein bhi aapko ye question pucha ja sakta hai right jigyasa is an online quiz initiative right it focuses on uh, quizzing people uh, you know uh, quizzing the it questions the participants on the knowledge uh, about indian civilization right indian art culture music and everything that is related to our country all right you can it can be asked which ministry has also launched it right so sabse zyada tricky question ye ho jayega because it is an obvious uh, answer ki you all will think that ministry of culture has launched the jigyasa quiz initiative but the correct answer here is jigyasa quiz initiative is has been launched by the union ministry of petroleum and natural gas so it is very very important that ministry of petroleum and natural gas has launched gas quiz initiative or iske participant iske winner ko milega 10 lakh rupaye ka cash prize all right the correct answer here is rupees 10 lakh it is quest for knowledge a quiz competition to celebrate azadi ka amrit mahotsav and the eligible person will get a scholarship of rupees 10 lakh each right ministry of petroleum natural gas urban and housing and urban affairs minister uh, shri hardeep singh puri ji ne ye uh, initiative launch kiya all right so moving on to the next question we have in which state of india will jika invest rupees 3800 crore to upgrade the health infrastructure of the state right uh, assam ke health okay i've already told you the correct answer right the correct answer here is assam the name of the project right the name of the project is assam health system strengthening project theek hai to jab correct answer aap logo ko maine bata hi diya hai 3800 ka investment karega jika japan international cooperation agency jo ki japanese official development assistant agency hai right according to oecd right oecd bahut important organization hai you should know about it organization for developed economies right a uh, 
an assistant a contribution assistant should be given by developed countries to developing nations right when it comes to development in fields like education health social and physical infrastructure all right even mega projects like high speed rail high speed rail jo india mein jika ne invest kiya hai वर्थ रुपीज एट्टी थाउजेंड करोड़ का सॉफ्ट लोन जी का नहीं दिया तो ऑफिशियल डेवलपमेंट असिस्टेंट में आपके ग्रांट्स भी आ जाते हैं राइट एंड सॉफ्ट लोन्स आर आल्सो आल्सो कम अंडर ऑफिशियल डेवलपमेंट असिस्टेंट्स ऑल राइट ऑफिशियल डेवलपमेंट असिस्टेंट्स बहुत बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट है नॉट ओनली जापान बट ऑलमोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द डेवलप नेशन इन द वर्ल्ड टूडे ऑफर डेवलपमेंट असिस्टेंट्स अंडर द नेम ऑफ ओ राइट right, इसी तरह यूएसए की ऑफिशियल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी का नाम किया है यू एस एड राइट यू एस एड दैट इज यू एस एजेंसी फॉर इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट ओके तो लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट इट थर्टी एट हंड्रेड करोर का एक इन्वेस्टमेंट किया है बाय जी का एन असाम टू अपग्रेड हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर राइट स्वास्थ्य भवन विल बी सेटअप वेयर होलिस्टिक ट्रेनिंग एंड विल बी गिवन टू हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट राइट हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फंड फ्रॉम जी का राइट आसाम के चीफ मिनिस्टर मिस्टर हेमंत बिस्वा शर्मा हैज ऑल्सो ग्रांटेड एन एडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज फाइव थर्टी करोर रुपीज फाइव थर्टी पॉइंट फोर वन करोर का अमाउंट ग्रांट किया है बाय द सी एम ऑफ आसाम मिस्टर हेमंत बिस्वा शर्मा और राइट टू सेट अप मेडिकल कॉलेज इन आसाम और राइट सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट i hope the concept of official development agency uh, you have understood very well all right the first uh, the concept was first adopted in 1969 all right so organization for economic cooperation and development the very name of the agency's organization for economic cooperation and development iski jitni bhi developed countries iski members hain almost most of them offer an official development assistance us ka oda us aid and this has also invested a lot of sum in india in uh, our country right uh, regarding various projects which of the following uh, government has launched afsar कनेक्ट टू अपॉर्चुनिटीज इनिशिएटिव पोर्टल राइट अफसर पोर्टल कौन सी गवर्नमेंट ने लॉन्च किया है कनेक्ट टू अपॉर्चुनिटीज राइट एज द नेम सजेस्ट कनेक्ट टू अपॉर्चुनिटीज अफसर राइट बेसिकली इट मीन्स टू हेल्प यूथ कनेक्ट टू दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज रिगार्डिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट राइट रिगार्डिंग स्किल्ड एम्प्लॉयमेंट रिगार्डिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन इंडस्ट्रीज और राइट अफसर पोर्टल लॉन्च किया गया है राइट right? Which of the following government has launched Afsar? The government of Jammu and Kashmir, right? Uh, the LG of Jammu and Kashmir has launched Afsar portal under Mission Youth, right? Mission Youth के अंदर Afsar portal को launch किया गया है. राइट जिसमें ऑल आई टी आईज एंड टेक्निकल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द यू टी विल बी ऑन बोर्डेड इन द प्रोग्राम फॉर अचीविंग द बेस्ट आउटकम्स अंडर आर एंटरप्राइजिंग यूथ्स ये एक छोटा सा न्यूज है सब न्यूज रिगार्डिंग जम्मू कश्मीर एट फिफ्टी मेगावाट का राइट राटले हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑल्सो बींग डेवलप्ड इन जम्मू कश्मीर बाई मेघा इंजीनियरिंग एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लिमिटेड All right. No more details about the project over here. Rupees five thousand two hundred and eighty-one crore ka eight fifty megawatt Radley hydro power project. It is a joint venture. All right. So these are some important details. This is a very important project, right? It was launched in the year to twenty twenty-one. Okay. So you should know more about it. मिशन यूथ भी बहुत बड़ा और इम्पॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव है बाय जम्मू कश्मीर राइट इट कंसर्न इट सेल्फ विद मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉजेज ऑफ यूथ इन द स्टेट और राइट यू नो लाइक एंगेजमेंट इन स्पोर्ट्स राइट एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज स्किल डेवलपमेंट राइट टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी यू नो गिवन टू द यूथ ऑफ द स्टेट 
और राइट सो दिस इज वॉट मिशन यूथ इज ऑल अबाउट इसका सिग्निफिकेंस क्या है इसका सिग्निफिकेंस सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट और डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट पड़ता है इसका यूथ रेडिकलाइजेशन इन द स्टेट राइट यूथ रेडिकलाइजेशन सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ सेपरेटिंग फ्रॉम द कंट्री राइट ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन बी अवॉइडेड वेन द यूथ आर एंगेज इन मोर यूजफुल यू नो प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड दे आर गिवन जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज दे आर गिवन अपॉर्चुनिटी इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ ग्रोथ all right so this is the you know main idea behind the scheme right of course national education policy is also being implemented in the state of jammu and kashmir right with large number of colleges and schools everything is being opening up there iit and iim has also been established all right in the union territory of jammu and kashmir sorry ओके अजय प्रहारी मॉन्यूमेंट अजय प्रहारी मॉन्यूमेंट कौन से स्टेट में लोकेटेड है प्लीज आंसर द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज गुजरात अजय प्रहारी मॉन्यूमेंट इज लोकेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ गुजरात यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ होम अफेयर्स इनग्रेटेड द इंडो पाकिस्तान बॉर्डर व्यूइंग नादा बेत नादा बेत में अजय प्रहारी मॉन्यूमेंट इंस्टॉल किया गया है विच इज नियर बनस कांथा डिस्ट्रिक्ट बनस कांथा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज बेसिकली लोकेटेड in gujarat in the northern most part of gujarat bordering with pakistan all right west banas river flows through through banaskantha district all right so this is a very very important district it the border views uh, point at vaga and punjab all right it has been erected in the memory of soldiers who sacrificed their lives protecting the nation right this is what it looks like moving on to the next question how many innovators have been selected for undp and adaptation innovation marketplace right adaptation innovation uh, basically a climate change related fund hai right jo ki 2020 mein launch kiya gaya tha by the united nations how many innovators in the state have been selected for the fund you have to answer the question right so let's find out the correct answer here is 22 local innovators from 19 countries including from india that is why that is here the news becomes very very important right 22 local innovators uh, from 19 countries have been selected by adaptation innovation mission including india announced 2.2 million dollars all right adaptation climate fund you all know it was uh, aims to achieve the targets outlined by paris agreement and sustainable development goals right it is a multi partner program it was launched in november 2020 with an initial of 10 million grant from adaptation fund it is a strategic platform that promotes scaled up adaptation at local level all right local level may crime climate resilience uh, and sustainable sustainable development goal कि टेक्नोलॉजीज को अडेप्ट करने के लिए लोकल लेवल पे इस फंड को यू नो इनिशिएट किया गया है सो दैट इट हेल्प्स लोकल इकोनॉमीज टू अडेप्ट टू क्लाइमेट टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑल राइट एंड सबसे ज़्यादा इसमें पार्टिसिपेशन किसका है सिविल सोसाइटी एंड एन जी तो ऑब्वियसली पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं बट द रोल ऑफ वुमेन जेंडर एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज इज गेनिंग करेंसी दीज डेज एंड रोल ऑफ वुमेन इज कंसिडर्ड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन इट कम्स टू अडेप्टेशन ऑल राइट टेन आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री वो फ्रॉम लीज डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज और स्मॉल आईलैंड डेवलपमेंट स्टेट्स वॉट इज द पेटेंट एग्जामिनेशन टाइम इन इंडिया एज पर द लेटेस्ट नॉम पेटेंट एग्जामिनेशन टाइम इन इंडिया पहले सेवेंटी टू मंथस तक का था बट नाउ इट हैज बीन रिड्यूस टू फाइव टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मंथस All right according to the Ministry of Commerce and Industry the number of domestic patent filing has surpassed the number of international patent filing during January March 2022 for the first time in 11 years out of the total 19000 patent applications 54% were filed by indian applicants as compared to 1990 by non indian applicants All right so this is basically uh, the information on the slide given over here 
पेटेंट द नंबर ऑफ पेटेंट्स दैट इज बीइंग फाइल्ड इन इंडिया हैव बीन इंक्रीजिंग ईयर बाय ईयर बट इट इज स्टिल वेरी लो राइट इट स्टिल नीड्स टू इंक्रीज सो दैट इज अ की इशू वी विल डिस्कस एट लेंथ इन डिटेल्स मोर अबाउट दिस इशू लेटर ऑन राइट हाउ मच द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसीव्ड फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी वाया एसेट मॉनिटाइजेशन सो नेशनल एसेट मॉनिटाइजेशन प्लान right it aims to raise funds it is in line with national infrastructure pipeline right it comes under the national monetization plan right and how much central government has received in financial year 2022 this is what the question is asking the correct answer here is 96000 crore against the targeted 88000 crore 96000 crore has been achieved एसेट मोनिटाइजेशन टारगेट कितना किया है गवर्नमेंट ने लॉन्च वन पॉइंट सिक्स ट्रिलियन रुपीज व फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो नेशनल एसेट मोनिटाइजेशन प्लान एम्स टू मोनिटाइज सिक्स ट्रिलियन वर्थ ऑफ एसेट्स फॉर फोर ईयर पीरियड टिल फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी राइट प्राइवेट डेप टू जी रेशियो इन इंडिया इज एट फिफ्टी Moving on to the very last question for today is which of the following is the host of 2026 Commonwealth Games? 2026 Commonwealth Games को कौन होस्ट करेगा? The correct answer here is Australia's Australian state of Victoria, Australian state of Victoria, the Great Victorian Desert. You all know about it. It will host 2026 Commonwealth Games. Right, the opening ceremony will be held at Australia's largest sports stadium. that is the melbourne cricket ground all right 2026 game uh, games will be held in four regional hubs right in geelong ballarat bendigo and gippsland right in its own athletes village okay so thank you so much for watching today's video uh, see you in the next class tomorrow take care and bye bye